All right, thanks guys. We'll certainly be waiting for that later. And those fans certainly made themselves heard today and that energy traveled all the way here to Little Rock. We can really feel the excitement even though you guys are all the way in Texas. And THV 11's Ian Russell spent the day hanging out in Hillcrest with fans who knew Arkansas would win before the game even started. Well, it's been a long time since Arkansas beat Texas A&M, but fans here at Hill Station were not letting that get their spirits down. Even before the game kicked off, they were ready and expecting that Arkansas victory. It's been a long time since Razorback fans had this feeling. You know, it's been nine years we've been losing. But if you ask the fans at Hill Station and Little Rock Saturday. Yeah, we're going to win today and uh, there's no problem. This game felt like it was over before it even started. I just want to see a strong team and knock them off the rails. I don't know. Just beat them for the first time in a long time. That'd be nice. And these fans got to see just that, a win. Arkansas knocks off Texas A&M 20-10. Both these guys thought it wouldn't be near as close. 90 to zero hogs. My final score is hogs, 42 and M 14. But a win is still a win for hog fans and for Hill Station owner Daniel Bryant. Yeah, absolutely, and I'll be honest with you, it's the hog excitement has, it's, a, it's just ramped up every week. Game days didn't look like this last year. The team wasn't as good and COVID obviously changed a lot. But fans are back and so are the hogs. It's a good time to be a Razorback fan. That's, a, that's Razorback homerism at work, but you know what? It's good. And hey, look, it's better to have that kind of optimism than going in kind of wondering uh, how bad we're going to get beat by so and so this year. So I'm glad it's it's nice. It does add to the environment, even if it's taken a while to believe the hype. I'm going to be honest. I hopped on the Kool-Aid. I, I love the Kool-Aid and I think we're going to be you know, after we beat Texas, I was like, all right, we're, we're good. Even with today's win, Brian doesn't want to get too ahead of himself. The Hogs still have some tough opponents coming up. There's always going to be a lot of optimism. If we win this one, then everybody's going to start talking about beating Georgia. So it's, uh, but you know what, one week at a time, right? Let's get, this will be a big one. But that's next week, and they're celebrating now. I'm from here. I'm going to keep rooting for them. I love them. In Little Rock, I'm Ian Russell, THV 11 News. Uh, that one fan talked about drinking the Kool-Aid to become a Razorback fan and, you know, coming from New York, I definitely can agree with that today. All right, and next up for the Hogs, a trip to Athens to play Georgia. And those fans in Hillcrest say that'll be a tough game, but they think the Razorbacks can still pull out a win.